So, who remembers Slush Puppy? I mean, you can't have not forgotten them because they still exist. This is one of those misleading questions. You know, on those uh, nostalgia pages. Who remembers Blah when Blah is still a very much established and continuing thing? It is okay to be nostalgic, but to act like it was something you like was bang in one specific decade, it's misinformed and it annoys me. Anyway, slush puppies. <laughs> uh, I'm filming this after the ridiculous heat wave the United Kingdom had. Several, actually. We had about three, didn't we, in the middle of August? Absolutely dying. And thus we bought a lot of ice lollies and related things. And one thing that we did find was basically home do-it-yourself slush puppies. We went to Iceland and these are the two flavours that were available in Iceland. According to the internet, there is other ones available, but we can't find them. And I really wanted to try them. I think one of them is bubblegum and I think the other one is... Who knows? Put it on the screen. The power of editing. Strawberry. Blue raspberry. The two classic slush puppy flavours. Blue and red. I didn't know this until I read this. Uh, the slush puppy is a registered trademark of the IC company. So it's like a British subsidiary of an American company. So these, uh, when you buy them, are liquid. You freeze them. You squish them. You eat them. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Freeze for at least four hours. If the pouch is frozen solid, defrost for 25 minutes. Shelly's tactic was to freeze them for less than that. So when she took them out, they would be slushy. My tactic is to freeze them fully and then run them under the sink, the bathroom tap in the, in the sink to, to loosen them up a bit. And here is strawberry. I will say, these are very nicely designed pouches, very ergonomic, you know? And there we go. Because slushies are a, they're a pain to eat, they really are. You, as refreshing and tasty as they are, they are not the most practical thing in the world to eat with those stupid straws with the stupid spoons on the end that don't work. It literally tastes exactly like one. If you cut this open and put it in a plastic cup and gave me one of those stupid straws, I would assume that you'd went and bought this from a stand or a news agent and not something that you'd made yourself at home in your own freezer. Oh yeah. I will say when you suck on them, you get a lot of liquid and probably sucking all the flavour out of the ice. That's not a good thing because I don't want to be eating unflavoured ice. And resealable if you don't eat the whole thing or if you're just tasting them for a video and putting them back in the freezer <laughs> I don't know who would do that blue raspberry I think I think I prefer blue raspberry in general in most things definitely in slush puppies if there is a blue option available at a slush place I want it Shelley likes a mixture some places will do like a swirl of each That is far superior. <laughs> yes. And a slightly low tongue. Oh, yes. Not a, a slush puppy otherwise, is it? And it has a colour in it. It has E1 to E133. Lovely. Wonderful blue E numbers to turn your poo green. Frozen sugar and E numbers. I am not going to complain about that. Yeah, I like these. I like the design. They're very clever. And they're incredibly convenient, you know. You don't have to rush out to um, a theme park or your dodgy local news agents with a machine that always tastes of soap, because they obviously don't clean it very well, for a slush puppy. You can just buy these and freeze them yourself. <laughs>